Hey, hey, welcome back, Adventures Dragon Guide to the Galaxy. We are in sunny Temecula, California. SoCal to be exact. Look at all this green going on here. Usually it's not this green, but uh, it's been raining uncharacteristically a lot for like the past couple of months. Uh, they've had like floods and crazy stuff going on. Oops, sorry about that. So yeah, Southern California is nice and green. Look at this water. Look at all this water going on down here. Look at that, that's crazy, right? Heck yeah, look at this. Got a full-blown river out here in Temecula. Look at that. So yeah, today, I've got a little video going on, and you guys can join me for this nice little walk. Now, before my finger touched the button I was recording, talking about the quote-unquote conservative civil war that's going on, because, you know, this is important to my channel for many reasons. Number one, I like to talk about a lot of different stuff that's going on, foreign policy, technology, you know, funny things not so funny things and this is one of those things that's hilarious to me now in the thumbnail which i'm going to make after this video you have candace owens leaving the daily wire candace owens excuse me leaving the daily wire for probably a number of reasons number one is that their foreign policy um they're like super pro israel and not pro jewish person by the way they're just pro israel any anything that netanyahu wants over in that government and that specific government wants they are down for it doesn't matter how horrible it is doesn't even matter if they wish death on themselves. Same thing for, you know, a lot of leftists and people in the U.S. government about Ukraine or whatever else. My thing is, a lot of these people don't actually know anything. They're just talking. Now, a lot of these people are backed by people with money, lots of money, like more money than you can even imagine. And the reason why is because they have an idea or some type of goal or something that they want, and they need you to believe it. Now, if Jeremy Boring, the guy who owns, co-owns or whatever, Daily Wire or you know, one of these other types of people, right? If they were to come out and just start talking about stuff, people would be like, who the hell is this guy? This guy's boring and he sucks. Or who's this lady? She's whack, right? Uh, there's probably a lot of wind here. So I'll see if you guys can uh, hear me here. But, uh, but yeah, my point being is that a lot of people don't necessarily understand why um, a lot of people are just magically you know, thrown in front of you and you don't know where they came from. You don't know who they are. Like, I know a lot of people were like, oh, who's this Ben Shapiro guy? Like back in like 2015 or so, I took a look at him and was like, where did this guy come from? I've never heard of this guy. What has he done? Who, what does he do? And you know, it's the same thing with Steven Crowder. Like, oh yeah, I went to a, uh, a college campus and I, uh, you know, dumped on a bunch of 19 year olds or 18 year olds or 17 year olds or kids who are 20 or they literally just left their mom's house and stuff it's like okay that's cool but anybody can do that you know what i mean like that's great you know change my mind all that stuff fantastic stuff but my point being is that just because they're funny they have videos that you like they make you feel good that doesn't actually do anything right now here's the point of this video a lot of people in america are upset that everything is just everything is very expensive for no reason. A lot of things don't have to be that expensive. A lot of things are a scam, including politics, right? And they'll say, why is everything a scam, but all this money that the government takes from you or just invents out of thin air, why does that get to go to people who are outside of America or who hate us? And the answer is because you allowed it to get that way. Now, I don't, I'm not saying that you sat there and it happened because of you specifically listening to this video, but the average American, European, regular citizen of the world, right? They don't necessarily have the ability to change anything up until now, right? Because this is the future. This is the, I guess this is what you would call, you know, this is the future. We're living in internet. We're living in an age of all these different things, right? So now, going back to my original point, conservatives are bugging because they're realizing that a lot of the people that are in their quote unquote conservative media never liked them ever, not even once. And the problem that a lot of people have with that is they have to go back in their mind and be like, wow, I believed in lies this entire time. I'm stupid. Let me fix that. Same thing with leftists, but I guess a lot of them don't do that. And the ones that do, they don't call themselves leftists anymore. They're just whoever they are. Okay. They're just, I'm just me. I just do my channel. I just do my thing. A lot of right wing or, you know, whatever. People come to this, um, you know, they come to this portion where they're like, you know what, this was very painful for me, but I'm just going to completely stop, take a step back and realize that it's all nonsense. This is where you need to be. Now, go back to one of my original points. The reason why I dunk on Ben Shapiro or conservatives, liberals, Democrats, Republicans, neocons, neo, whatever these people are, none of those words actually mean anything. Okay. 
they don't mean anything because every so often you'll say, oh, this is what leftists do. This is what right wingers do. And then it's always the opposite of what those people are that are doing that thing. So it's like none of those words mean anything. What is the point of all this, right? The point is they're trying to put you into the what I like to call the distraction industrial complex. It's not that any specific thing is a distraction. It's just that every single thing that happens is so ridiculous that you can't comprehend that thing while thinking of the last thing that happened. Now, again, this week we have earthquakes, we have solar eclipse. You know, there's all kinds of wild stuff going on. And like, you know, people are like, oh my God, this is great. What happened last week? What happened the week before? What happened the week before that? You it's like you can't even remember because there's just so many. That's the magic that these people have. They're able to cook off so many garbage, ridiculous, uber nonsensical events, uh, psyops, place people in positions where their YouTube channel or their Odyssey or their news channel just goes straight up in the air and you're like, oh, this person's saying all the things that I like. He's owning the conservatives or this guy's taking it to the libs. And it's just like, come on, dude, seriously? I've heard people say, we're owning the libs, we're owning the conservatives. It's been like 10 years and all the people you're quote unquote owning, they're still alive and they're still making money. And y'all still paying crazy taxes and doing all the stuff y'all wanna do. Oh my God, they're destroying the environment. Oh my God, they're destroying my neighborhood. Oh my God, they're doing all this stuff. Okay, what are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna actually learn and actually, uh, you know, tell these people that they're dumb to their face no matter who they are? That's what I do. And so that's how I've always looked at all these people. I'm like, what are they talking about? They always just saying stuff. And I've heard a while, I thought like, am I stupid? Like, cause there's no way that this person is actually telling the truth. There's no way this person actually knows what they're talking about. So I go to the research and I'm like, wow, they're even dumber than I thought they were. Insane. Absolutely insane, right? But again, these are the people that are put in front of you to stall, delay, 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 delay. You, no matter what political side you work for or believe in, you don't work for them, believe in, right? And then by the time five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years goes by, you begin scam for six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, you'll never get away from that until you just have that one thought in your head. You're like, you know what? Let me just take a step back. Listen to people who are different than me and let me see what's really going on. And I think that the main thing that helps me understand how fake everything is, is that you have to go and actually not believe in political parties, no matter like red, blue, you know, the greens, um, the coffee party, libertarians, uh, people's, but whatever, socialist party, right wing party, left. It, it doesn't matter. Okay. You need to actually learn the basics. And what do I mean by the basics? I mean, go back and learn all the history of all the different types of things that, you know, the monster from Jekyll Island or, you know, um, I mean, high desert pioneer and everybody, please comment below if you know some of the things I'm talking about, but I mean more like, uh, you know, where did Lyme disease come from? Uh, you know, the monster from Jekyll Island, AKA the, you know, the, uh, the central banks, you know, all, all that type of stuff. That's the type of stuff you need to look for. Not this political party or this or left or right. You know what I mean? Like go look at uh, some of the founding fathers, uh, their grave sites. They have giant, you know, Freemason symbols on there, you know? And those, that, that means that they're doing a lot of kind of stuff that a lot of people really don't, like, you know how many Christians, left or right, doesn't matter, that I know that actually are like, the founding fathers were of devout Christians and stuff. I'm like, okay. But if you think that, you're thinking Christian as in like what you do in the modern day. You're not thinking of Christian as in they left, you know, England to, you know, pursue some of the other stuff that they were doing. You know, Freemason, some all the, you can go to the, I go to the, uh, what is it called? The antique store. They have Freemason Bibles. Those are way different than the regular Bibles, right? Ancient Bibles, before, Bibles before it, it became like in English. Okay. So there's all kinds of stuff going on that a lot of people, they're just not, they just don't connect with. You have to fill in all these little tiny things, right? All these little backlog of things that you never knew in the, to begin with. And then once you learn all that, then you go to the, you know, the future, AKA right now. And then you'll be like, whoa, now I understand, right? Because again, Ben Shapiro, it's Jeremy Boring, Candace Owens, uh, who else? Um, we got the quartering, we got uh, Tucker Carlson, whoever, conservative, right? A lot of these people literally do not know what they're talking about. Now, again, popular, cool, funny, haha, -ha, fantastic, right? But again, does any of these people ever talk about, you know, 
some of the things that, you know, I would have on my channel, like everything, you know, everything's being uh, a scam from the beginning. No, they'll pick a side, be like, oh, we need to own the libs, or we gotta get these Republicans. Again, if you're buying into the system, one way or the other, you're still buying into the system. I know a lot of people love Donald Trump, and that's cool. I, I don't have a problem. I think he's a funny guy, for sure, but if you're talking about military uh, tactics or, like, technology, if we're talking about banking or any of that type of stuff, I'm 100% not gonna, oh, we're gonna tune in to Donald Trump. He's gonna save the world. It's like, bro, the world is already, it's already done, Okay pandemic already busted everything up all these different things but again you're buying into left versus right you're literally buying back into the system oh we're gonna get it this time no you're not and the reason why i dunk on i don't i don't again i don't care or i don't want to say care i don't necessarily know anything about candace owens i've watched some of her stuff cool whatever but again the reason why she's being let go from the daily wire as you all know jeremy boring is because of foreign policy right she does not like the Israeli government. And I don't actually know if she actually believes this or not, because I don't, I don't necessarily she, think that she believes anything that she's saying when it comes to that. But it's the most recent, most popular thing, right? October 7th was an inside job in Israel, as we've already discussed on this channel many times. And again, it's, it's their next PSYOP to get you to just jump back on the conservative plantation. Because again, if you guys leave the conservative plantation, they're going to have to, you know, blow everything up. So again, instead of having to do that, because then that means that you know, people are going to be on their bumper. They have to keep devising another and another and another and another way to scam everybody back into the system. And now the reason why I care so much is because I'm all about military tactics, technology, you know, peace and love and harmony. But then again, I also like firearms and stuff. Like I said, you don't need to have violence, but if it's, if it's going to happen, you'll be good at it, you know? But again, live your life and have a good time. But when we're talking about Ukraine, we're talking about Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, Jordan, Egypt and all these things, I see conservatives, they just come up with the stupidest, most, I don't know anything about combat or war, even if, oh, I was in the military, I don't care. That doesn't mean shit. I know a lot of people in the military, complete idiots. Oh, I was in Afghanistan, I've beaten up a lot of people. <laughs> I've beaten up plenty of Marines and fucking sailors. Oh, I went to Afghanistan, I'm tough. All right, run it. And they get their ass whooped, okay? Same thing with this alpha male boot camp, $18,000 for three days. And then one guy dies because he has a heart condition. And now they're getting sued. And that's probably why they're charging so much for it because they're toast. So again, just because someone has a label, a label, oh, I'm the president, I'm the conservative, I'm a this, I'm a that, that doesn't mean anything. Do they know what they're talking about? Yes or no, that's where you need to start. And again, I keep, miss I keep getting away from the point, but all the uh, foreign policy stuff, right? That's, uh, that's the type of stuff that I, that I actually enjoy talking about because I told people years ago how at Israel, Palestine, um, Russia, Ukraine, uh, Kosovo, all, all this stuff. I've told people many times how that stuff is going to turn out. And they're like, oh, look, we beat up some Russians. Oh, it's and then the Russians come back with more industry, more tanks, more this, more that. And then they're, no, again, and now they don't, now they don't even talk about Ukraine. Because all the people, the money, all this, oh, yeah, yeah, guys, go over there. We're going to beat the Russians. And then when stuff starts happening, they're gone. They don't care about you. So, again, that's what I'm talking about, right? You guys have to... You guys have to just drop the political parties, socialism, communism, leftism, rightism, capitalism. None of that shit means anything. Absolutely nothing. Not anymore, anyway. I mean, it might have meant something like back then, but, you know, not today. And the reason why that doesn't mean anything is because, for example, uh, socialists and communists are taking over everything. They're going to try to make us back into communism. Like, well, the technology is too intense for that. They're not going to put you into communism. What they're going to put you into is going to be worse, way worse. Socialism, communism, all that stuff, capitalism. Not, not. It can't be capitalism if all the people that fail keep getting fucking handouts and keep getting legs up so that they never, they never fail, right? It's not socialism, communism if all the socialists and communists that are, that are in charge of the government or any of these political parties or groups are like, oh my God, capitalism's so evil. All right, bitch, why you got millions of dollars? They got people out here talking about capitalism is evil, but they be the richest people on the planet. You can't make this stuff up. It is ridiculous. It's beyond funny. It's, it's beyond a joke. So like I said, a lot of people get offended. Like, oh, you're hanging out with these people. I've converted more people from right or left to the center or to like the, the awakened, whatever you like to call it, than most people have ever even done in the past five years or their entire lives. I've done it 
more in the past couple of years than anybody. Like, and even then, even in the military, or when I worked for government, I would just be telling people, yeah, that's wrong. They would get angry, kick and scream. And then once they figured out I was right, they're like, damn, you know, back then we used to, yeah, that means you were wrong the whole time. And imagine how much more you could have learned this entire time if you would have just shut up and listened. Now, again, I try to have people get to this point where they realize what's going on before their families get, you know, you know, get tricked into whatever is on the TV. And you're like, oh, yeah, but this is the new thing. And then they're gone. And then the next week, there's an eclipse. And then there's an earthquake. And there's this and that. And then you forget. So I'm trying to make sure that you don't see Benjamin, uh, whatever his name is, Ben Shapiro. I almost said Ben Franklin. It's ben Shapiro. And he's like, oh, man, we got to we got to kill the left and all these terrorists. Okay, well, sir, your government and the people who fund you, because I know you don't actually do anything, you've never worked a day in your life, you don't actually do anything. So when you're saying, oh, the left, and the, the, the same people that pay you pay them. So if you're not talking about get your paymasters, I don't want to hear what you're trying to say. Oh, man, we need to get these Hamas terrorists. Oh, did you know that your buddy, Bibi Netanyahu's been funding them since 1979, and he created them? In order to have a counterbalance to actual people who wanted to, you know, be in Israel and, like, make a real democracy, quote-unquote, democracy. All these democracies, as soon as they don't get what they want, they start banning people, assassinating people. Yeah, democracy. Uh, great, huh? Oh, man, these Palestinian terrorists. Are so bad. But you funded them, and you literally have secret organizations that create them in order to make that group of people look bad. So every single terror, oh, my God, these terrorists. You look back, oh, damn, we fund them. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, Sirhan, Sirhan. Oh, damn, another one. This was a random policy. Nope, they paid that guy too. Okay? Again, a lot of people, they want to believe in conservative or liberal or whatever it is because actually having to go back and be like, I was wrong. Let me actually do some real learning. That hurts people's feelings. And then you have to go and look and be like, damn, all these books and all these stores going back even many years, all these books were written to try to confuse people and throw them off the real trail of real human history. Yes. Yes, that hurts. But guess what? Too bad. So again, the reason why I don't take Ben Shapiro or any like conservative tough guys seriously is because they're not actually tough guys. I know some real tough guys. I guess you'd call them conservative because they have like actual conservative values. But guess what? They're not cringe. They're just regular dudes, liberal, conservative, whatever. They don't even consider themselves that. They're just like, okay, they're like, you need to be an alpha male. You need to do all this stuff. And then like it turns out a lot of those dudes, they'd be the first ones to be the exact opposite of that. It's crazy, right? But again, same thing with the left. Like, oh man, I hate racists. And then that person be the most crazy-minded person you could ever even imagine. You'd be like, what the hell, man? That's the type of stuff we got going on, right? That's the type of people that we have in this industry of, you know, media and all this stuff. But again, people who are real conservatives, like actually real liberals or real freedom-loving people, them people don't get no views. They got, okay, let me also say this, right? A lot of people really think that they're like, oh, I got, again, it's the Trump and the Biden, the lefty. It's like, it's, it's either one of these things. Like we're, every, t- every time there's like an election coming up, it's like, oh, we're going to do it. Oh, my God. Wait till this November. Oh, we're going to show them then. Why don't you show them now? Why don't you just change and stop being a, a scum now? Why don't you actually have some of those, um, you know, actually have some of those values now instead of, oh, this November for one day, we're going to have it then. Like, no, what, what, is the, what is the point of that? Okay, what is the point of saying, oh, we're going to have an election this year, the, next year, next November or the year after. So oh, oh, then we'll show them. Oh, so for the next couple of years, you're just going to let them run roughshod and just snatch up all your money and literally make you pay 18 times more. You're just going to let it happen every day. More and more and more and more and more. What are you guys doing? Okay, I'm, I'm not saying go do violence and just, you know, do a bunch of crazy stuff. But I mean, come on. Right. Every time something gets popular on the internet, if they're like, oh, wow, they're going to sign this bill. And everyone's like, okay, yeah, 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 no. And then everyone gets hot, super angry. And then they retract the bill like, oh, we're sorry. They're not actually. But they're like, dang, they caught on to us. We need to pull it back for a couple months, throw some eclipses, some earthquakes, and some Kim Kardashian or some, you know, uh, whatever. We'll throw that out there. Oh, yeah, maybe they'll forget about it. And we'll just wrap this bill in with another thing. Again, I was watching a, um, a little video about people who are not from America they come to America, what are some things that shock them? One of the first things on this video was, they're saying, why do Americans allow people in their government to name a bill something, and then the inside of that bill, like a, a law that they're trying to pass, it has nothing to do with the, the title of the bill. They were so shocked by this. I'm like, yeah, that's America, man. That's the type of crap we'd be dealing with, right? And so they're like, well, you know, 
Obama. Why, why do they do that? Because people in America, they don't like to read long bills. First of all, you shouldn't even be allowing all this stuff. But then again, a lot of people, here's another one, a lot of conservatives or liberals or whoever, this is, this is a political view. I know a lot of people say this, but this is a political thing that I'm going to bring up here. So they'll be like, oh, back in the good old days. Like, when exactly was that? In the good old days, back when they didn't have internet and you didn't know you were getting piped? So again, now that you have internet and books and all this stuff, you can do cross-reference things. You're like, oh man, back in this day, in 1913, they created the Federal Reserve. And, you know, back in you know, the 1930s, they made the FBI and they were all a cult and they were doing all this stuff and like devil worship and they're opening portals and trying to do it. Yeah. So again, with that, back in those good old days, again, the good old days in reference to the government wasn't up in your, you know, your behind doing all this stuff. Sure. Those are good old days. But again, you just didn't know that they were you know, pretending to be, I guess, human beings or whatever, so that I guess in the future they could have all these laws. And again, they've been putting all these laws together, speech laws and all these different things, Federal Reserve, you know, the National Security Act of 1947, if that's the actual title of it, um, World War II, Operation Paperclip, Operation Fishbowl, all these different, they go to Antarctica, Walt Disney went down to Antarctica and helped them film a bunch of crazy stuff, right? This is the type of stuff that people don't have any idea about. Like, just thinking about it, my head is going crazy thinking about all this stuff that people should actually consider and process in their brain and then put that into the, uh, their calculations of politics. And if, even if they did 2% of what I'm saying, they'd be right where I'm at. They'd be like, ah, no, 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 all this stuff fake. Oh, this election, went, no, 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 how about you just do it now? Fucking election, do it now. Oh, well, you see, we wouldn't be able to middleman you to death and, you know, make everyone believe that we are, again, Perpetual C student legacy admissions. That's the government. I mean, C student, C minus, that's, that's being generous. Okay? A lot of these people, Ben Shapiro, they were put there intentionally. Like his mom was a mega, you know, studio TV executive for all these years, and his dad was a composer. Fantastic. Awesome being a composer. So you grew up playing violin, and, you know, I, you know, a lot of people, I know some people that play violin, very great. Awesome thing. But again, very privileged, nothing wrong with that. But when you take that turn around and say, oh, I'm the leader of a movie, sir, stop, stop, stop. You're Ben Shapiro. You didn't have to get it out the mud like everybody else in America, working every day, doing landscaping up in central Florida, 100 plus degree heat, 110% humidity for years. Stop. <laughs> stop, sir. Sir, you didn't work retail for 20 years, right? Sir, you ain't a mechanic. Sir, you ain't been to been in the military having to just do grimy work for fucking decades and get like zero, uh, you know, recognition. Sir, who are you? <laughs> I'm a leader of the conservative, sir. Sir, I'm gonna need you to pick up that bag that's 35 pounds. Oh, you're struggling. Oh, okay, so you're not a leader of a movement. And I'm not saying that if you're not strong, you can't be a leader of a movement because there's plenty of people who are physically disabled who are absolutely leaders of all different kinds. But again, he's one of those guys that gets to be the leader of the tough guy movement. You know, we need to go kill those people. <laughs> hey, suit up, boy. Take your ass over there and do it. Oh, I didn't think so. So again, you can multiply that times just about everybody in the government. Pete Buttigieg, oh, I went to Afghanistan. Yeah, I know a lot of people that went to Afghanistan. They sat in a room and didn't do shit. And they told me as much because it's funny. We were friends. But again, I'm not stupid. I know that. I don't care where you've been. If you don't know what you're talking about, you don't know what you're talking about. Again, Steven Crowder, uh, who's some lefty guy, the Young Turks. Oh, I'm Cenk Uger. I'm going to yell and scream. These people are caricatures. Young Turks, take $20, millions from the, $20 million from the Democratic Party to continue to be who they are and just run their mouth and talk. Did they have to get it out the mud? Did they have to work from the beginning? No, they didn't. So again, conservative civil war. Is it a civil war or is it that people are just now realizing that the entire time it was a psyop? Okay. Now I'm not saying every single thing like, oh, you know, like this rock is a psyop. No, not at all. But things that are obvious, right? I guess you could say your 9/11s. You could say your recent Moscow terror attack. You could say your October 7th. You could say your, you know, Operation Fishbowl. You could say your, uh, you know, even even like I said, even Hitler did it. You know, oh, we were being attacked by Poland, so then he can invade. You know, they already had it pre-planned. All kinds of stuff. A lot of people don't think about this stuff. But again, once you put all this stuff together, once you watch Adventures Guide of the Galaxy and some of the other people down in the comment section and, and some of the other regulars on this channel, you'll start to you'll start to understand that life is a lot better and a lot more awesome than they're telling you it is all doom and gloom. Oh my God, it's all over. 
But I'm walking down the street, and it looks nice, right? Economically, they're intentionally destroying everything. But again, that's, that's what they're doing intentionally, right? They're not trying to win these wars. They're not trying to win any of these things, right? Because they want you to lose and die so they can have all of your stuff. Again, what did Ben Shapiro say? You guys should just work forever and never retire. That's stupid. Okay. Are you acting like that? Do you get free money? Do you get handouts? Do you get favorable algorithmic boosts on the internet while other people actually get taken down? Come on, sir. That's why, like I say, when it comes to left and right and all this stuff, I don't take anybody serious if they're like overtly left or right. Now, I listen to them on a specific, um, any specific thing or a video or subject, of course, because I want to hear what their opinion are. But like I said, I'm not putting my faith in this guy will save us. Like, come on, you have to save yourself. When you have a nation of people who are self-saved or at least decent, then everything will be a lot better. But honesty is the key. If you guys actually believe that these people are correct, then it's gonna, you're gonna have a hard time. The reason why you're losing all these wars, America's losing all these wars, losing all this stuff, and taxes are going crazy, and everybody's doing all this stuff, and nobody understands why, is because a lot of people aren't honest with themselves and actually believe that left v. right politics, who has taken over everything, even though that's the front for the actual like shadow government, it's not even shadow anymore, it's just, just a bunch of clowns. A lot of people will say, learning, oh, that would be hard. I just wanna, I just, I just wanna like just, I just don't want to not pay attention. I just want to have someone do all the thinking for me. Well, then you lose. Oh my God, Israel, we're totally going to destroy the enemy. Y'all losing to people who don't even have an air force. They don't have tanks. They don't have anything. You want to know why? Because you're meant to lose. If the Israeli government, right, if the U.S. government, if all these European governments are helping the terrorists, quote unquote, sleeper cells, psyops, do all these things, do you really think if you join their team on the official front facing, we are the, do you think they're gonna let you win? You can win battles here and there, but they won't let you win the war. So there's no point. They wanna make money. They don't care about your life. Come on. So everybody, tell me what you think. Conservative civil war, people are shocked that the government actually hated them the whole time. They, and they don't wanna believe it. They're actually hurt that their conservative buddies were psy the whole time. Again, there's this other channel called Fresh and Fit, or whatever, these guys are total frauds. They have been the whole time, but again, they've been algorithmically, algorithmically boosted, right? While other people who really saying that good stuff, trying to actually help people by saying the real things they don't wanna hear, they get shut down. They get shut down. So again, they're kicking Candace Owens off of the Daily Wire because she's busting up their whole reason why they're even taken serious, which they shouldn't be. Again, now, cultural war issues in America, sure, awesome. Foreign policy, I ain't trying to hear all that. But the terrorists, you're funding them. You're the terrorists. They're killing Jewish people, oh my God. Okay, you're killing Jewish people, sir. You keep funding the terrorists. You're trying to have them hurt innocent people so that you'll get mad and join their team. Money. Every time, it's just like, come on, every time. Without a doubt, without even trying, you can just see this stuff. And that's why every time something happens, they don't ever, they don't even walk their videos back. Like, oh, I was, yeah, we're gonna do this. And then when they're wrong, they don't walk it back. All the people say, yeah, we're annihilating the Russians. They've lost a trillion people. They don't have any ammo, they're using shovels. Uh, is that true? Did the Russians use shovels to destroy parts of Kiev and all on the Eastern front? No, they used uh, artillery shells that America and the West does not have. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. They used thousands of tanks that they actually have had their factories start rebuilding. Oh, I'm sorry. They have tons of cruise missiles and hypersonic missiles, ballistic mi And guess what? They were experts in that. Operation Paperclip didn't work just for America. Russia did it too. They took some, they took some of the Nazi scientists. And you know what theirs were good at? Space flight, rockets, electronic warfare. That's why they're good at those things. The ones that we took, PSYOPs, rockets. They, we took some rocket guys too. That's why NASA is all uh, a bunch of former Nazis. Uh, Werner von Braun, Bronzeville, Alabama, it's all not named after Nazi scientists. Check it out, okay? That's why we have that. But again, Russia took some too. That's why they, Sputnik, made it to space before we did. That's why they got all these dang missiles. That's why they got all these tanks. That's why their nuclear submarines are, their submarines are larger and can dive deeper than ours, a couple of them. Not saying that 
you know, the Russian military actually maintains and actually trains people to, you know, operate them for years and years, which is why they, uh, their Navy isn't great because they're all drunk and high. Check out the <clears throat> Russian Navy sucks one through four, one part one through four video they have on the uh, YouTube here. Great, at great ships, but everyone's just drunk and high and they can't take care of business. Now I'm showing that's changing a little bit more because Vladimir Putin is uh, mysteriously having people fly out of windows who aren't getting the job done and then people are appearing who can't get the job done, AKA Ukraine right now is losing because Vladimir Putin's like, ah, oh, yeah, 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 come on, quit playing. Well, let's stop being corrupt as much and let's get the job done because America is so corrupt they can't even beat people who are corrupt. That's how terrible it is. People are like, oh, Russia and China. But dude, you guys, the US government politicians, y'all doing business with them, y'all helping them. American ships, American technology, getting found in Russian helicopters and uh, cruise missiles that are blowing up. Every time. So like, oh, we're gonna fight the Russians, really? Are you gonna fight the Russians if you go to war with them? Absolutely. But the people up top, they don't want you to win because they, they need the money. They need the money, right? So again, how many times over? Again, Netanyahu, 1979 creates Hamas to uh, go against the PLO, the Palestinian Liberation Organization. He's like, we need Hamas to be crazy, bloodthirsty, foaming at the mouth terrorists, okay? Three days before the October 7th attack, out, they, where they jail broke out of Gaza, because it's a, remember, before then, they were like, oh, we have the best security. We, we have this 20 foot wall, and then behind that we have a, third, a 30 foot wall with machine guns every two, uh, every 100 yards, you have grenade launchers. Oh my God, we have all this stuff. Every inch of Gaza is a uh, satellite fucking zooms in and fucking re-images every inch of it every 10 minutes. That's what they would say. Remember Pegasus? Remember all these different super AI programs and all the, oh my God, Israel has the most high tech, everything they have, which I'm not saying that they don't because they do. The Mossad, everything. Blah, 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 blah. And all of a sudden, a dudes in fucking sandals and paragliders sailed slow as hell in clear view over this wall, covered with machine guns, automatic turrets, you know, laser scan, and it, all of a sudden it just shut down. You ever seen that Daryl Guberman video where we talked about how um, all of the world's uh, technology is ran through Israel and it's certified by Iran, and Pakistan, and China, right? How is your most secret shit certified, audited, and controlled by your literal enemies? How does that make sense? It's a big game and you ain't in it. It's a big game and you're not the player. There's a game called Metal Gear Solid 3, Metal Gear Solid 4. They talked about this years ago, the 2005's game came out, talking about the world is all, it's all stage, right? And they're trying to move it to the next stage where all humans are, you know, just a bunch of lazy bums and you're all, you know, put towards the bottom while you know, people in all countries, whether they're quote unquote enemies or not, they get to have a good time. And that's what's going on. They don't want you to win. The reason why they're so upset at Russia is because they literally cannot beat them because they don't want to. They want to beat the Russians so bad, but if they actually started to try to win the wars, they wouldn't make money because if a war is over real quick, you don't get to make money. You know what I'm saying? So think about that. Just a couple things to think about while we're out here on this nice walk in Temecula. You know, it's easy to talk shit. It's easy to buy subscribers, to buy views, to, to just, you know, have the conservative or the fake liberal whatever call you and be like, yeah, 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 you want to do this? Yeah, join this group and don't talk about these things and then we'll make you famous. That's easy. The hard part, actually learning, being a comprehensive person who actually knows what they're talking about and spitting that game. That's hard. Gold, silver, stack, stack, stick to the plan. Yes, sir. Everybody, like, share, and subscribe. Comment below what you think. There's a lot going on. So we're about to go out here in Temecula and enjoy our day. And I will talk to you